Hi guys, today in our PE lesson we're going to be learning about agility. Agility is simply defined as the ability to change the position of the body quickly whilst under control. So that's things like changing direction really fast. An example of that would be a badminton player on the court running from front court to back court and side to side quickly whilst maintain, maintaining control. I'm sure you can think of many other sporting examples where agility would be really important to be able to improve performance i.e. being able to change direction quickly to dodge around an opponent, to score a basket or shoot that goal in football. So today we're going to be going through some drills which you can do at home, which will hopefully help you to improve your agility. Okay, of course, before you do any of these drills, it's important with any exercise that we do a proper warm up before we start, just to get the heart rate going, have a little bit faster to get that oxygen delivered to the working muscles and make sure our muscles are nice and warm so that not only are we going to perform better, but we're going to prevent injury. So we're gonna start with a nice gentle exercise, a nice pulse raiser, so marching on the spot. Swinging those arms, lifting those knees. And then we're gonna move into jogging on the spot. So a nice easy jog. Remember to control that breathing, get that oxygen in. And then some high knees, starting to increase the intensity. And heel flicks. And finishing off with some jumping jacks. Okay, and now we're all ready to start our challenges. So keeping low as you go around the corners, pushing off the outside foot, keep those knees bent, keep nice and low, fast feet, moving really quickly, keeping the feet apart to stay balanced. Changing direction nice and quickly. This one's the figure of eight drill. Always facing the front, using that lateral movement. Really good for court games like tennis, badminton. So this is just easy side stepping, reaching down and touching the pots with your hand. Quick feet, pushing off the outside leg again, staying low, trying to move those feet as quickly as you can from side to side. This is a partner drill. One partner holding a plank is working on their core and upper body strength, while the other one's working on their agility going over and under. Away we go, Riley. So trying to go as quickly as you can, commando crawl through, jump up as quickly as you can, up, up, up and over, and back down again, down, 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 under you go, under you go. Get through, get through, back up, back up, jump up, jump up and over, up and over, over you get, back under, back under. You can see really having to work quickly on changing direction while your other partner's working on that core strength. Okay, here's another under over drill, trying to quickly change the position of the body by getting under, getting down low quickly and then jumping back up to get over and then straight back down to get under again. Away we go, Jay. Get down all the way, get low. Jump down low, get low, get your bottom down. Okay, you can see this one, really tiring. Great workout and it's lots of fun too. This one's a more complicated figure of eight drill, adding in the under and over element as well. Away we go, Riley. So over, around the chair, under the rope, around the other chair and repeat. So we're doing that figure of eight action around the chairs going under and over the rope each time as quickly as we can. 
Just getting down low, jumping up, moving our feet fast. Nice tight turns around the chair, pushing off that outside foot. Again, you could challenge yourself here. How many can you do in a minute? So there you have it, some fun agility drills to try at home. But don't forget safety first. So check with an adult that the area you're using to do these drills is safe and that the equipment you're using is safe. Don't forget to do the warm up at the start. You can extend those exercises out to last you a good two minutes to make sure that you're properly warmed up. Also make sure you have a water bottle with you to stay hydrated and make sure you're wearing your appropriate PE kit and footwear um, also to make sure that you're being safe when you exercise. So there's some ideas for you. We'd love to see you come up with some of your own creative ideas on agility drills. So if you have some that you can share with us, we'd love to see them.